What's good? What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the show Recap with Mo. Well, we're getting ready to introduce a new show to this platform. But before we get into this thing, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss shit, Nick, that's going down, all right? So the show we're getting ready to introduce is a show on BET Plus. And I think some of the older episodes are actually showing now on BET. The show is called The Miss Pat Show. So if you have yet to see this show, it is absolutely hilarious. It had me, I mean, it had me crying over the Thanksgiving break. So with that being said, I thought that it would be a great show to bring to this platform as well. So if you have watched this show, let me know your thoughts down below, what you thought about the show or what you think about the show. And if you have yet to watch it, let me know as well what your thoughts are with this recap and this review. So anyhow, with that being said, it's three seasons in, and of course, we're not going to go all the way back to season one or two. I'm gonna start in season three, just to give you a little bit of what the show is about, and um, we'll get ready for season four. But let me give you a little bit of the premise of the show before we get into this thing, just in case you have yet to watch the show. So realistically, the show reminds you a lot of Roseanne. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of Roseanne, but I knew, you know, what the show was. Every so often, I would catch it on when I was growing up, but I never watched it. But with this right here, it, it has the same type of setup. So you have Pat, her husband, Terry, and they have four kids, two boys, two girls. And then um, the comedy relief in this show is, of course, Brandon, one of the oldest sons. And then you have... Um, um, Denise, who is played by Tammy Roman. All right. So just to give you a little bit about that, um, the family moved from Atlanta, Georgia, where they were thriving. They were loving, you know, the, the culture and all of that stuff. That's where they were from. And the husband, Terry, gets a new job in this small town in Indiana. So they're pretty much having to acclimate to what's going on right now. Nobody is excited about it, but they're just trying to make the best of it. And Miss Pat is trying to, you know, throw herself into her career as a comedian. And that's pretty much the gist of the show. I mean, nothing much more than that, but it is a show that I found to be comical, but not only just comical, but it also touched on real life issues, real things that we're dealing with within the culture, things that we're dealing with within our families. So I thought it was a great show to talk about and have a discussion. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this thing without hesitation. Um, the first show that we're going to talk about, and I'm going to do two um, per week until we get caught up to season four. So whenever they release it, we'll be good to go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and kick it off with season three, episode number one, titled Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Now, the synopsis for this episode states that with Pat and Terry's relationship still on the rocks, Janelle is presented with an opportunity to get a college scholarship. However, a representative is coming for dinner and the family must appear perfect. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this thing. All right, so let me go back to season two very quickly, just very briefly to bring you up to par what we are in season three. So when it states that their relationship is still on the rocks, Pat had just found out in season two that she was pregnant. All right, so once she found out that she was pregnant, she told um, that information to Terry, but she had already made a decision to get rid of the child. And Terry was not feeling that. He was upset. He said it went against everything that he believed spiritually, you know, against his faith. So she was like, look, I hear what you're saying, but it's my body, it's my choice. Now, we can go back and forth all we want to, but I honestly believe that as a couple, as a married couple, Yes, it is your body, but at the same token, you did not make that child by yourself. So it only behooves you as the woman to convey this information to your significant other so you guys can deal with it together. And no one is left wondering, like, why didn't they tell me this? Why didn't they tell me that? Or feeling some type of way in the situation. So that's what happened at the end of season two. She did not convey that information to Terry. It pissed him off. He left the house. 
and he had been gone for about three days. All right. So that's pretty much what we are in this in this season three opener. All right. So the episode opens up with all four of the kids in the living room watching one of my favorite shows of all times, Good Times. Now, the episode that they were looking at was iconic because it was the episode where James Evans dies, all right? Or where Florida finds out that James has been killed in an accident, all right? And that's the most iconic episode of all time for Good Times because that's the one episode where she says, damn, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know... Even people that don't even watch Good Times or have never seen Good Times, most of them know that that saying or whatnot. So anyhow, they're watching it and in walks Terry. Now, Terry has been gone for about three days. The kids are super excited about seeing him coming back home because they were wondering, you know, has anyone heard from him? They were just honestly concerned about what was going down. And in walks Pat. Now, Pat isn't willing to let it go. She's ready to have World War II. And Terry is like, look, I don't even want to go through it right now. I just want to, you know, I just want to get away from it and just focus on something else because he still heard about the situation because he feels like she did not come to him with that information and, and decide together on what they wanted to do. On the flip side, Pat is like, look, Unless you came in here to, you know, to apologize or whatnot, like we have nothing to talk about. So anyhow, later on that day, um, Terry's in the kitchen cooking. Um, Pat is sitting over there at the table with one of her sons. I believe his name is Junebug. And, you know, since they're not talking to one another, Pat is actually sending messages to Terry's phone. Now, Terry is avoiding the conversation and he doesn't really want to hear anything from her because they feel the same way. So she's sending the messages to him, cussing him out. Now, I found it hilarious because of the things she was saying. And not only that, they were using the kids in it as well, which I do not agree with, but with the show, it was comical. And as a matter of fact, um, Janelle, who's one of the daughters, was like, hey guys, I got good news. Everyone's super excited to hear what this good news is. She conveys to them that she applied for a scholarship and the rep wants to come over to meet with the family because the essay, her entry essay that she wrote for the scholarship talked about how great and loving her family was. Unfortunately, it's just not today. Like, Janelle, it's not today. It's not today. We're going through some stuff right now. But, you know, Pat is like, look, can you reschedule it? Terry is like, no, baby girl, go ahead and set it up. Do what you need to do. Like, she's trying to get this money for college. So, anyhow, long story short, they end that conversation. And we go on from there. But before we get up out of the kitchen, Terry is like, look, I'm just going to put my phone on silent. I ain't going to hear no more text messages. Pat is like, cool, you don't have to read no more text messages, but she sends a text message to Junebug. Junebug says, dad, he was like, yeah, son. He was like, dad, come over here. And he allows him to read the text message directly from his mother. So I was like, that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, going on from there, um, we see um, Denise. Now, Denise's character is played by Tammy Roman. And she's rolling this um, suitcase through the living room. Terry is sitting on the couch like, uh, where are you going with my um, suitcase? She was like, oh, um, Pat told me that uh, I could have it. You know, we, we getting ready to go on tour and everything. So, you know, she said I could have it. He was like, no, my suitcase is staying in the house. She was like, oh, um, well, you're going to have to take that up with Pat, bro. Like, essentially, she was like, no, I'm still taking this suitcase with me regardless of what you're talking about pat said it said i was good so anyhow um then brandon comes in the eldest son he comes in to inform him that his car is making funny noises terry's like hold on from the garage he was like oh no mom told me i could drive the car but he was like she didn't tell me anything and he was like oh by the way you're gonna need some new tires too he was like I just got new tires on the car. He was like, yeah, I did hit that curb a little bit too hard. But he was like, at least you know where to go get some new tires. I was like, damn. So anyhow, 
lastly, Janelle comes in to remind him that the scholarship representative is coming over on Tuesday night. Well, Pat had told her to change it or to reschedule it, but what happened is she never told that to Terry. So Terry got pissed off once again and he leaves. He leaves because he doesn't know what else to do at this point. When I'm trying to communicate with you, you don't want to communicate with me, but you're communicating with every damn body else. So anyhow, going on from there, later on that night, um, we see that the um, scholarship representative calls Janelle to tell her that he's actually at her house. She thinks it's a prank um, being done by her brother Junebug because they play back and forth with one another. So she was like, okay, if you're really here, why don't you ring the doorbell? Well, there you go. The doorbell <laughs> rings, right? So she was like, oh my gosh, he's here. She was like, I thought I sent an email. But what she actually finds out is that she never sent it to begin with. It was just there. It was in the unsent area. So you know, it is what it is at this point. You might as well open the door. So when the scholarship representative and his name is Mr. I think his name is Mr. Porter. So Mr. Porter comes in, he introduces himself. And while he's there, remember, um, Terry is gone. He's not at the house. So who he sees is Pat, her mother, and he sees Terry, her auntie. So he was like, oh, not Terry, damn, Denise her auntie so he was like okay so you must be terry she was like what he was like yeah this is definitely the diversity that we're looking for for this scholarship and she was like oh yeah she's my uh she's my <laughs> she's my uh i can't even put it together but yeah, she said something crazy, man. It had me cracking up, rubbed on her chin and every daggone thing. Janelle is sitting there like, for real? Like, this is what we're doing? But she doesn't say anything because she's trying to get the scholarship. So anyhow, we head over to the kitchen where the representative is sitting there conversating. And um, Brandon, the oldest brother, comes into the kitchen while the representative is there. Pat is sitting down holding Denise's hand. And Brandon is like, hold on, what, what y'all doing? Like, why is she holding uh, mom's hand? Janelle tells him what's going down. Of course, he laughs it off a little bit. He goes over and plays. You know, he plays into it. You know, I'm just fortunate. You know, I'm just fortunate to have two mothers, you know, and they and they're so affectionate to one another. Go ahead and kiss one another. Show them how you kiss. And of course, Miss Pat ain't going for that. She smacked her. <laughs> like I said, man, y'all got to see it for yourself. It seems like I'm laughing at everything that's going down right now. But anyhow, so Mr. Porter is like, well, let's go ahead and get back to our star student here. And he starts talking to Janelle and asking her about her, you know, her resume. And she starts telling him or listing off all the things that she's done or some of the things that she's going to do. And he was like, excellent, excellent. And then he's <laughs> then he starts using words such as uh, matriculation and all of that stuff. And for some strange reason. Denise is turned on completely about what this brother is talking about. She was like, oh, I just love the way you, <laughs> I just love the way you saying these words right now. It, it, it definitely when you were saying, and then they have to pull her off of Mr. Porter. Like you're supposed to be on the other side of the fence. You're not supposed to be on, you know, what you're doing right now. So anyhow, in walks Ashley, their oldest daughter and Terry. Now Terry is like, what in the hell is going on? Pat is like, Terry. And of course, Mr. Porter's like, hold on, wait a minute. Um, wait, I thought you was Terry looking at Denise. Denise is like, yeah, I am Terry with an I. Um, but you know how it is, Denise. She's over there talking to Terry like, yeah, you know, Denise is short. You know, a man can be named Denise as well. So <laughs> anyhow, Terry's sitting there like, what in the hell is going on? So Terry's been away for a little while. He's gotten his mind clear. So he calls over to Pat to go meet him in another room. So when he gets over there, he wants to talk. Um, Pat is like, look, this is not the time nor the place. You see what's going on in this house right now. We need to deal with what's going on with Janelle. He was like, okay, so this is what we about to do. Like, Terry's like, you just going to continue with this BS? Essentially, that's what he told her, right? Denise is like, look, 
I already done told you to stay out of my marriage. And everybody's looking, <laughs> everybody's looking at, <laughs> everybody's looking around like, what the hell? Like, she's going into this role right now. Even Pat is caught off guard. So Mr. Porter's like, okay, I, I, I think it's time for me to get up and get up out of here, right? So, of course, um, Janelle feels some type of way about this situation because she honestly wanted this scholarship, but she feels that her mom and dad has effed it up for her. You see what I'm saying? So she walks out of the room as well. Denise goes outside to speak to Mr. Porter. She does not allow him to leave the house. And she's going out there to convince him to give Janelle another chance. She's apologetic about lying to him. And then she comes on to him a little bit. And um, we find out later on that he's not interested in her. He's interested in somebody in the house, but it just so happens not to be her. She was like, I know you're not talking about Janelle because I put them hands on you. He's like, oh, no, I'm talking about Brandon. She was like, what? He was like, yeah. And it caught me off guard a little bit, but I was like, well, it is what it is. Um, but anyhow, long story short, um, Janelle was able to get the scholarship, which I was glad about. Um, the family stuck together. And she was able to get the scholarship. Another thing that I liked about the ending of this episode um, is the fact that Terry and Pat, they they go to speak to Janelle, which is something that I think that parents should do with their kids. Um, they went to Janelle to apologize first and foremost, but also to let her know that we're here. We're going to make this right. Of course, Janelle is like, look, it's too late. Like he's already gone. Pat is like, no, he's not. I've already sent, you know, your aunt to go handle that. Like, he ain't going nowhere. So she goes downstairs, and when she jettisons the room, um, Pat goes over to her bed where there's a piece of paper on there, and it just so happens to be the essay that she wrote for the entry for the scholarship fund. And she read through it, and it was a touching letter. Um, and pretty much it just talked about the love that they have within the family, the structure of the family, as well as how much her family loved one another. And reading that actually touched Pat, both Pat and Terry, and it made them think about what they were doing. Was it really worth it? Was all the bickering, the going back and forth, was it really worth it? And was it really worth hurting your daughter just to get your point across. So what I did like about this episode is that they did come to a resolve. They did talk about their issues and they also made it up in their minds that, hey, we're going to we're going to go back and forth. But what we need to do is make sure that we mend it in the end. And I'm good with that. Because even in the end, before the show goes off, we see Pat sitting in the bedroom on the phone with her tour. Um, I guess, representative or whatnot, to see what other options were available for the tour. Like, can she postpone it? Can she do some other things? Because right now, what's more important to her than anything is her family. And I'm like, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So that's pretty much the, the, the end of the episode, man. They're only like 30 minutes long, and I tried to give you everything. And of course, this video was a little bit longer because I had the introduction to it. Um, but with that, man, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this recap, this review on the Miss Pat show. If you have yet to see it, make sure you go check it out so you can know what I'm talking about right here. Also with that, we got tomorrow night, we got um, Tyler Perry's The Oval. So that'll be out tomorrow night. And then I'll also have... Um, a couple more videos of Tyler Perry's sisters um, to air tomorrow night as well to get us ready for Wednesday night. So with that being said, man, I'm going to get up out of here. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video so you don't miss this and if it's going down right here. I'm that man, Mo, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one. Talk to you later. Peace.